Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome girl. Hit the subscribe button because you are gonna wanna stay. It's true, it's just the truth. You're gonna wanna stay. We're here for the positive vibes, the positive energy. Your girl's on a life journey and if you are on a life journey as well, this is the page for you. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you guys again. So we're going to get into a few days in the life of a teacher trying to get her life together before her students get back into the classroom because it's been an absolute struggle. And the classroom is hot, I'm tired, I'm not fully settled into my routine yet because I haven't really established what my routine is going to look like. So today is Wednesday, I've been in the classroom since Monday just trying to prepare and going into professional developments and you know, it's just been very chaotic. If you're a teacher, you already know. But the first week of school when the teachers come back, it's time for professional development and then some getting your classroom together. Now, I will say this, if I didn't come and start my classroom last week, I definitely wouldn't have been able to get my classroom done this week because I still don't have all of my desks so I can't format my classroom because of PDs all day we don't really get that much time you know to be in our classrooms to get our rooms done I'm still waiting on myself to be laminated decoration wise so I can't even put up those decorations and then there's just not enough downtime in the day so it's just like how do I do this without having to come early and stay late but I think that's what the move is going to be I'm probably gonna have to stay late tomorrow I can't stay late today but I can stay late tomorrow I can't come early tomorrow too because I have to get my car, I have to drop off my car to get inspected because, come in. I have to drop off my car tomorrow morning to get inspected because I was traveling so much and I came home and my inspection was up in July. It is August, so we're getting it fixed tomorrow. I figured I might as well just give you guys the realest, like behind the scenes as much as I can because, like, you know, I want to respect my co workers' privacy, but if they don't mind me filming, I'll show you a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes, what it looks like to be getting ready to get back into the school year, learning new procedures, sitting through trainings, because that's what a lot of it is. So I won't make you guys sit through all of the trainings, but I'll just show you the most important parts of my day. It is currently 8.43. I have about 20 minutes before my first professional development starts. It's my math PLC, which is like our planning and learning. And I love those sessions because I love, love, love the person who does them. So shout out to my girl Katie, because I love you. I will share this. One thing that I have been really trying to make sure that I do is I've started meal prepping again. So I've been bringing my lunch um, and I've been also bringing like a little bit of a snack because I really haven't been feeling breakfast lately. One thing I'm trying to really focus on is packing protein in throughout my day so that I will stay full longer so I really don't need to eat that much. And so I've been bringing my protein bars, the Power Crunch bar and the Flavor Triple Chocolate today. And then I just packed a, I packed a salad and then a little protein box that I made. So I've been really making sure that I'm not leaving the house without bringing food. I haven't really been eating breakfast lately because it's just not really my thing. But I am having some coffee this morning. I didn't put my protein shake in there, but it's fine. It's fine, we're fine. But yeah, I figured we would go ahead and start this vlog off here because, you know, I just feel like not a lot of people understand the prep work that goes into a classroom before the school year starts. And like, we've got two more days in the building after today. So today's, like I said, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we have stuff to do. So we're, we literally need to get the bulk of every, actually, we need to get everything done this week so that our rooms are prepared for when our kids come in next week. So. That is that. My room is a little bit in shambles right now. It's nowhere near finished. I need to finish putting up some more decorations. And then I also need to figure out what furniture I'm moving from out of my classroom, but I can't do that because I don't have all of my actual desks in the classroom. So I don't know, maybe that'll be something I do today. I'll take you guys along for that little journey, but just wanted to kick off this vlog and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.
is my third year. Wow, my third year. We are on our way to our next meeting, but I think I have eight minutes. So I'm gonna run to the bathroom. This is a very real reality. Like you don't really have that much time. Let me see if she's in the bathroom. We are back from meeting number one. We have another meeting at 1045, so I need to go downstairs in about seven minutes, but I wanted to come in here and just grab my snack because we're gonna be down there for a little while, so I figured might as well grab my snack. I also have to use the bathroom if somebody was in there. So the first meeting went really, really well. I need to see what's actually on my agenda for the day. So the next meeting I have today is our review of the 2022-2023 signature practices. So this is like the whole entire school has to be there. Like all staff members have to be there. And that is gonna be an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, Jesus. And then we have lunch and then we have a two hour math meeting with uh, the director of math operations for, um, or I guess the director of math curriculum, I believe with my school paradigm. So um, we have that and then from three to four, I have time to decorate my classroom because I'm not finished yet. I also need to go make sure that they're gonna bring my desks up here because the fact that it is Wednesday and I still have not yet been able to structure my classroom the way that I need it to is a little bit stressful to me because I feel like it's very last minute and I don't wanna be rushed on Friday because I know I have a ton of stuff to get done. So it's getting very, very real. Just like figuring out the logistics of the new school year too. We're under different leadership this year. You know, things are forever changing. Things are always evolving around you, whether it comes to technological programs, to, you know, different procedures, things like that. So it's just really overwhelming these last couple of days because we're just getting hit with so much information. Like my brain is fried and I don't know where I'm gonna start, but I'm not gonna stress because I know every single year, everything gets done. We have a successful school year. I'm just going to continue staying prayerful that God will have his hand on me, on my students and just on the overall school to make everything go smoothly so that the kids get the education that they deserve but yeah so now i'm getting ready to just go downstairs i guess i'll have to hold it and go to the bathroom um when i truly can't hold it anymore but what did i bring for snack today we're still kicking it with the mason jar salads. If you guys haven't checked out my last meal prep, you should go do it because it was a good one. I'm really trying to get into more creating my own snack boxes instead of like buying them. This is like a heavy protein one. It has eggs, some turkey pepperoni. I have cucumbers in a bag. And then I also have some little cauliflower. I think they're cauliflower chips or something like that pretty good. I usually put cheese in it, but cheese has been hurting my stomach. And that's because I haven't been taking my lactate pills and I ran out. So that is something I need to put on my list to do today after work. We don't have to go to the gym today, which is nice because today is a rest day, thankfully. So yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go to this next meeting. I'll try to film what I can and then I'll talk to you guys probably around my lunchtime. Okay, so that last PD was uneventful. I didn't take any notes. It's just a bunch of people talking, so I didn't bring you guys to that, but it's currently my lunchtime. Well, PD ran 20 minutes into our lunchtime, so I don't know if we're gonna have a full actual lunch hour, but instead of eating my lunch right now, I'm gonna try and get some of my decorations and stuff up because some of my stuff wasn't done being laminated and I'm finally getting it just now. So I figured I might as well just use this opportunity since I've really been struggling to get my, come on in. Yeah, come on in. You come in. Are we having lunch together? I gotta go heat mine up. Sorry about that. One of my coworkers came in. I had to, we had to chat about some things, but I'm going to take this time to finish cutting out my decoration so I can like finish the decoration portion of my classroom because once that's done, all I really have to do is just get my desks in order, figure out that format, and then we will be good to go. I'm trying not to be frustrated because I know that there are a lot of other teachers in this building, but it's frustrating when you don't have all of the things that you need, especially when you've given two weeks notice that you need certain things in your classroom and placed in your classroom. So I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to show grace because I get it. It's just like frustrating that I can't format my room because I like to be on top of my things. So I finally got myself laminated. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of these out. There's like a million and one of them that I need to cut out. And then I need to figure out where I'm gonna be structuring things on the walls in terms of like placement of my anchor chart walls and like my birthday presentation wall that I wanna do too. So that's what we're gonna be getting into right now. And then I have my next 
Oh, I think I'm in my classroom. I think I can stay in my classroom for the last meeting of the day. It's two hours, but I can kind of get my classroom done while I'm on Zoom because I'll be listening as well as like, you know, watching the computer. So that's pretty much what the update is right now. Listen, PD days are very, it's not that they're not eventful. It's just that they're boring and there's nothing really for you to see because I'm literally getting talked at. Like, you know, we're all just getting a bunch of information. There's nothing really to see. And if you can't see the people who are delivering the content or the information, you know, there's really no reason for me to film because it's boring like it's truly boring and yeah so we're gonna try and get as much as I can get done today in my classroom and then later on today I'm gonna when I go home I'm gonna figure out what else I can be doing to structure my schedule my future schedule just so I can get acclimated with things and start really practicing and getting into the swing of things I should have ideally started a couple of weeks ago implementing my school schedule but that just was a no for me it didn't happen and I'm human those things happen but later on today I gotta figure out what like my after school is going to look like, making sure I'm getting to bed on time, making sure I'm getting everything I need to get done the night before. That way I can have a successful night, morning, and then rest of the week. So let me just get into this really quick and then when there's an update, you'll know. so interesting to me because like nobody ever wants to break the silence and I'm gonna talk one thing about me I'm gonna talk I'm gonna break the silence like I literally was just like sorry to break the silence guys but uh do you think we could share the document this is what we're doing I finished cutting out all of my little decorations my laminated decorations um I just need to figure out what this one says because like I gave them to the lady in order but I think it's supposed to say student work hopefully that's what this is supposed to say um but I got the other three stacks done so after I get done with this call hopefully we finish up a little bit early I'll be able to go ahead and start I'll be able to go ahead and start finishing up decorating my classroom and then yeah so that is the moves right now. I think I might eat my salad though too because I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. I'm like, I have candy in my classroom because I like to keep my little candy jar in here, but I don't really want candy per se. I want to actually like fuel my body with foods that like I need to eat. So yeah, that's the update. <music> and your girl is stressed because I feel like financial literacy is not something that I'm strong in but I am making every attempt to learn and make sure that I am good that I am breaking generational curses and cycles financially so I had a meeting yesterday I was a little bit overwhelmed we went over our 30 minute consultation but I learned so much and so after that I had to finish filming a meal prep video this is exactly what I meant by establishing a routine because I need to figure out how I'm going to pay handle going back to work full-time and then also doing YouTube full-time at the same time. How many times can I say time in a sentence? Anyway, so I finished filming a meal prep yesterday. I had to meet with my accountant and then yesterday was a rest day so I didn't have to go to the gym. Now I am trying to go back to the gym first thing in the morning. Usually at 4 a.m. is when I go but it hasn't been happening.
happening over the last month or so just because we've been on summer break and I've been really taking the time to sleep in and get the most out of my night's sleep. So I think maybe tomorrow I will try for the 4 a.m. and see if I can do it for the next couple of days. That way when it comes time for Monday, it's not the first day or the second day, it'll be the fourth day and I'll be pretty much good to go. But I didn't have to go to the gym last night, so I came home, I did some Bible study, I edited, I filmed and I had that meeting and that was pretty much my evening but now it's the next day it is Thursday morning it's about 8 30 I am late to school that doesn't usually happen but I spent a lot of time in worship this morning and I lost track of time so I'm just getting to the building I'm getting ready to finish setting up my classroom because I came in this morning and they brought up the rest of my desk in the classroom which is so nice so now I can structure my classroom the way I want to I still have a few more decoration pieces that need to go up I need to put my school-wide posters up as well so I'm gonna try and get that done well some of that done within the next 30 minutes because I have my first professional development scheduled at 9 o'clock so I just want to try and get everything that I can done in this 30 minutes and then hopefully some point today I'll be able to finish my classroom that is the goal I'm just like sick of it just looking a mess so yeah that's what we're doing this morning but I just wanted to hop on start the day the girl is blessed and highly favored I'm feeling really really confident about a lot of things I was a little bit defeated yesterday meeting with the accountant just not knowing what a lot of stuff meant the process it just seemed very overwhelming to me but I really surrendered it to God this morning and I just know that I don't need to worry anymore because he's going to take care of me as he always does. So that is my morning message to you and I will talk to you guys in a bit. transparent with you guys I have tried to film this vlog consistently for the last three days but life has been lifing okay I don't know if my teacher friends go through this but that week before the kids come back into the building between PD getting back into a schedule everything is hectic you don't even have time to breathe and by the time you get home you're literally so exhausted all you can really do is the bare minimum and go to bed so that has what has been happening so I think I only got like one day like one school day of like good content today is Friday so I basically missed all of Thursday as you can tell life has been lifing and it's just been kind of a struggle so today I'm going to finish up this vlog a couple days in my life as a teacher trying to get her life together I think what I'm going to do is I will try to get as much content as I can today it's just that PDs are so boring that there's literally nothing for you to see and I don't want you guys to sit through it but I do have to finish my classroom today so I think that's what we're gonna do it is currently 7 20 I got here about 10 minutes ago and we don't have to be here until 8 but I wanted to come and finish my classroom and I'm so glad that I did come early because they removed my smart board yesterday and they left this like uncovered wall space and I need to cover that because it is so not cute so I think for the next two hours I'm gonna go ahead and try and get everything done everything that I can done they still have some items that have not been delivered to my house yet from my Amazon but all of the major stuff is here and can be put up today so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that we got our Starbeast today it's Friday it's payday it's also really um sweaty I'm also um, drinking my super greens and the chlorophyll. I always want to say chloroform, but that's like not a thing. I mean, it is a thing, but that's not what we're doing over here. I have the skinny greens and the flavor green apple, and then I put in, not my posters falling down because it's so hot in here, 
great, love that for me. I've been drinking the Skinny Greens and the flavor Green Apple, and then I just mix the liquid chlorophyll drops, about 15 drops. It says to do it one to three times a day. This is only day two, and I only did it twice yesterday. So far, so good. Um, I'm just gonna drink them. It tastes really good. The chlorophyll is tasteless. It says it's like mint flavored, and are we already know I don't like anything mint flavored. You can't taste it because I mixed it with the Super Greens, and it just tastes like green apple, which is super nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and sip on this for a little bit, and then we're gonna jump right into my classroom because there's so much work to be done. Also, it is so hot in here. I'm just like, it's uncomfortable hot in here. It's like school hot, sticky hot, smells like musty, dusty, crusty, nastiness. So I'm trying to like let my room cool down before I get into the swing of things. So that's what we're gonna be doing this morning. And then I have a full PD agenda today and yeah, so. is back in action teaching her third year of eighth grade math i got here early and i've been here for 40 minutes and i haven't done a single thing that i needed to get done so just adjusting back into a regular routine teaching full time and just like trying to balance a social life personal life all of those things but this morning i felt better about the school year i know i've been sharing on my channel that i've been having a lot of reservations about the school year about how i thought i wasn't going to be able to come back because my anxiety was just so through the roof but i was really praying about it yesterday and I woke up this morning with a sense of peace and excitement. I know it's just nothing but God covering my heart and my mind so I'm just so incredibly blessed to be here another year in my classroom. I have to finish my decorations because half of them fell down over the weekend since it was so hot so I'm getting ready to do that and then I have a few other things that I want to put up this morning but I'm just so excited to see how this year is going to work which is such a switch up from literally five days ago when I was in here and I was like on the verge of tears because I I was just like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't deal with the students. I can't deal with anything. I, I was so pessimistic about it and it was just so out of character for me, but we're here, we're back and we're better than ever. Also, let me show you my first day of school outfit. Look how cute this little dress is. I got it from Shein and feel how you want to feel about them, but I bought this literally like a year ago. 
yeah i had it last school year too so yeah I've, i bought it all a long time ago so yeah and now that it's mine i'm just gonna keep wearing it i'm just so excited to meet my kids today i don't know i already see them like lining up they're coming so early that's crazy because school doesn't start for another like hour yeah they don't have to be here for another like hour and 15 minutes so i'm like okay but they're out there they're eager to be here and i'm just so happy to see them so i'm gonna go ahead and start fixing my decorations putting up stuff that i got and then i will talk to you guys periodically throughout the day that way you guys can kind of get the most realistic view of my life now the only thing that's different today is that i didn't go to the gym this morning because i needed to be in the building like two hours early to make sure i got everything done but going forward i will be going to the gym first thing in the morning at 4 a.m 4 a.m and that is the tea that's the scoop the 411 i will talk to you guys in a little bit We also got these little clapper thingies so when the kids come in we can clap for them which is so nice it's just so hot in the school building like i don't know how this is supposed to work let me put my earrings through i wish we didn't have to cover our faces because you know you could do a lot with a smile but that's all right better safe than sorry you guys it is your girl's prep period and my first class went really good i've got some characters for sure but we love character i feel like i'm getting my like miss daughtry girl energy back so i think it's gonna be a really really great year i was just talking to my coworkers and like telling them how you know i was really pessimistic about this school year and i know that was just you know the devil trying to steal my joy but i really prayed about it yesterday because i'm like lord i physically cannot go into this building tomorrow and i woke up with such peace of mind and everything is just going so well right now is my prep period so i'm getting ready to make good use of my time by starting my lesson plans for next week what's nice is that we're not teaching i don't start teaching teaching until this wednesday which is today's monday and then next week the kids are off for the holiday on monday they take standardized state testing like pre assessments on tuesday and wednesday so thursday and friday are the only two days that i'll be delivering instruction next week so i only have two lessons to plan out and it should not take me long at all so i'm going to be doing that i also need to call the parents of my scholars to introduce myself to them because i know i gave the students like information that the parents need to sign in terms of my syllabus my technology agreement my classroom procedures and all of that but i know a lot of the kids will not take it home so i need to do everything that i can to make sure that i introduce myself to the parents build those positive relationships and then also just make sure that they are receiving the information you know down the line i I also need to create today my student newsletter. I'd like to send it at the end of the week. I've decided on doing a bi-weekly newsletter instead of a weekly one because it's so much that goes into it. So I'm going to be making my bi-weekly newsletter today also. So I think that should, it should give me enough time. My next class isn't until 12, I don't think. Yeah, my next class is at 12 and it is 11.27 right now. So I've got some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that. And then I will update you guys how I'm feeling around my lunchtime because my next class after that, I take my kids to lunch, so. Thank you. 
Okay, so my second class of the day is complete. I just took them to lunch. Now it's time for me to have my lunch. Um, and I brought a mise en jar salad because these are my favorite things ever. Today I'm having a chicken cob salad with blue cheese dressing. Today is turning out to be such a good day though. Like I just, I think I have a really good group of kids. Now some, uh, they're always, they're always good. Don't get me wrong. The kids are always like, good they just are like chatty you know my last class is really mellow i was like kind of pulling teeth and one thing about miss doctor is that she likes to talk and she likes to hear from the kids so we're gonna have to work on them i'm really excited to see these kids grow and flourish academically i'm excited to see them come out of their shells a little bit i've got quite a few kids who are new to the school this year. And I feel so bad because there's a kid that doesn't feel good this morning. He's like having a headache, he has a headache, but he just looks miserable. So I sent him to the nurse. Hopefully they're able to do something for him, but like y'all know the nurse, right? Like they just give you like, I feel like when I was in high school, all they gave us was Tums for everything. That, Coke syrup and ice. Those are the only things that they were able to do. They weren't able to administer ibuprofen or anything like that. So I just feel so bad because he asked me if I had anything and I'm like, babe, I can't, I can't give you those things. Um, I've had some meetings today. I had my prep period today. Today seems to be flying by actually, which is so good. It's 1.42. I have to pick up my kids at 2.08, I think. So we've got some time. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my lunch and then I'll talk to you guys when I can probably after lunch or after the kids dismiss at 3:45, so yeah everybody it's my izzy girl <laughs> <laughs> hello <laughs> Nick, got three youtube video <laughs> oh my god how's my baby I'm good. how's ninth grade good my brother is from <laughs> of course not look at how good she looks she looks so great Hello, Miss Dutchie's YouTube video. How one time for the one time. I think my camera's crooked. Um, but it is time to go to the gym. Everybody has left. Oh my god, my camera's really crooked. Hold on. I think it's worse. Anyway, but it is so hot. I've never been this hot in my entire life. Like I'm so sweaty. Um, but I decided that instead of going home right after the gym, I'm going to go right to the gym so I could just be in the house for the rest of the night. Today was such a good day. And I got to see my Izzy girl. I got to see her, honestly, I'm excited. I got to see a couple of my other kids too. And it's just a beautiful reminder that what we do as educators is important because I was feeling like I wasn't changing lives. I wasn't being inspirational to my kids. And I just, you know, wasn't making an impact. And I saw four of my kids from last year today and one kid from two years ago. So it's like, yes. Yeah, I just changed into my gym clothes. Nobody's here. Like literally, it's just like me and the janitors. Um, and maybe a few other teachers. My feet hurt so bad from the heels I was wearing. I just was walking barefoot in the hallways as I, like in the hallway as I was changing because it was just so freaking hot. But I'm all prepped for tomorrow and I'm prepped for the rest of the week and next week, which is good. So I don't really have anything to stress about per se. The kids, they linger outside. That makes me so nervous because there is nothing outside for these kids but danger. So like I look to make sure that they, you know, get home, but they don't be going right home. My heels weren't even that big. Like they really weren't even that big today, but my feet hurt so bad. All right, let's get out of here. So when I talk to you guys next, I will be home and we'll be chilling for the night. And yeah, that'll be that. So we are back at home and I have to hiccup, I'm so sorry. Today was a really great day. I loved being back, loved meeting my kids. I don't know why I have the hiccup, so please forgive that. But I'm trying to figure out what I want my night routine to look like. I went to the gym right after work today. I wiped my makeup off when I came home and I got in the shower, I exfoliated, I shaved, I feel wonderful. I didn't moisture, I didn't, ooh. I didn't moisturize yet, but I'm gonna take the extra step today and go ahead and shampoo my lashes. I'm still using the JM Beauty Eyelash Foaming Cleanser. I love this stuff. It's super gentle, doesn't make my eyes burn at all, and it gets the job done. The editing on this is gonna have to be crazy because I've just hiccuped like 37 times. This is the brush that I'm using. They gave this to me. It's just a regular like blending brush, like a crease brush from e.l.f. Oh no, not e.l.f., Wet n Wild. Uh, I'm just gonna wet it. Maybe not. I just wet it a little bit and then I'm gonna do one eye at a time so I can kind of see. I'm gonna start with this eye because there's like a little bit of makeup under here and it's been driving me crazy all day. I don't shampoo my lashes every single day. I usually do it on the days when I have more makeup on. And even though like I haven't really been doing too much makeup because I've been wearing my mask so my makeup has only been on from here up. I still just wanna make sure that I'm getting a good deep clean and not like, you know, risking getting any eye infections because we don't, 
we don't need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's kind of like a weird feeling at first. I'm not going to lie to you. Like I was like, I feel like I shouldn't be uh, washing my eyes like this. I'm like, oh, it's gonna damage them. They're not gonna curl back up the way I want them to. But I've had no problems. And like, you can kind of see that the foam cleanser has turned a little bit brown, like a little bit tan. That's just cause it's just getting all the makeup from off my eyelids too. I probably look absolutely crazy right now, but it's fine. We're fine. All right, I think that's pretty good. Okay, don't worry, it's not gonna look like this for long. I'm gonna actually dry them when I get done with this one. Um, my maintenance of my lashes have been really, really, really good. Um, I'm probably gonna go next week to get them refilled. I love, love, love the salon I went to. I'll link their um, Instagram pages down below. But JM Beauty, I believe she is the owner and the girl that did my lashes, she's Jada and she's thebomb.com. Honestly, I love them. Like if you're ever in the Fishtown area, go see them for your lash needs because they know what they're doing. Oh, there's <laughs> lash fell off. So far we're doing really good though. I haven't lost that many so it's nice. Um, just be gentle. I never thought I was gonna be a lash girl but I'm a lash girly okay. I am her. So nails and eyelashes are my new thing. I will be doing my own hair from now on. <laughs> I'm just more comfortable doing my own hair and it's just like a waste of money when I could just do it myself. Although I can do my own nails I just choose not to. I used to do them all the time in high school and college but Okay, so before I dry my lashes, I'm actually just gonna wash my face because I didn't do that. I like to do that in the mirror so I can like see, make sure that I'm not getting it in my lashes. So like my skin, right? It's like, I don't know. I don't really know. Acne is just a horrible, a horrible thing, okay? I got my cycle. So the moment my face starts to clear, it like another breakout comes around and the dermatologist still can't get me in for another three weeks. So I'm really just on my own. I just like don't know. I haven't tried any like internal internal is that the word internal pills or anything to maybe see if i can clear it from that level it's always ever been topical you know what i mean i'm just learning to really embrace it the fact that i'm even on camera with no makeup is just crazy to me because my friends will tell you i used to never leave my room like in college my roommates once my makeup was off i wasn't coming out of my room like that was it you would see me the next day and i would get up before everybody and make sure that my face was beat so that when people did see me i looked together but now we're just out here we're rocking the natural look which i'm not mad at i just don't love that i'm working so hard to keep my skin clear and then i get it clear and then like more breakouts come that's Really upsetting. Oh, hold on, Brianna's calling. Sorry, y'all. That was a cousin Brie. I just wanted to know if she wanted to go to Florida with, or not Florida. She wanted to go to LA with me for my birthday. She told me she's gonna let me know because she's figuring out her schedule right now. So I don't know. That might be in the works. You guys might get another vlog with some Brie Brie in there. I love her. I miss my other Brie Brie though. My bestie girl. I miss her so much. I swear, I'm not going that hard on my face. Like I'm really being gentle. But the battery died, so I have to like manually <laughs> spin the brush today. Let me rinse this off and then. And we'll chat when I'm ready to start adding my products. Okay, now we are fresh face. My face feels so tight right now. But before I put on my face products, I'm actually gonna put on a Mighty Patch. I have this little pimple here and she needs to go. I also need to extract my blackheads. That's probably not happening tonight. I don't feel like it. Maybe I'll like try and start getting facials. It's just like another bill to keep adding, but it's an investment. Skin is an investment. Mighty Patches really, really work. If you guys don't use them, you should. They really help in a pinch. Anyway, so I'm still using the same skincare products, the Urban Skin RX. I love these products. I love how the texture of my skin feels with these. Also, I'm still using the uh, Faded Topicals Cream. I slept in my makeup this past weekend, so I feel like I had like, a little bit of a step back, but it's fine. I mean, not that much damage was done. I just don't like to sleep in my makeup. I don't like for that to happen. I noticed I was getting like lazy around my eyes. Now that I have these lashes, like I want to be really gentle, and, like, but I like, was missing makeup. So I need to like make sure that I'm really paying attention. One of my students um, today, <laughs> Cause like they they know that I have a YouTube channel and they were like, Miss, why do you always wear makeup to school? Like I know we know you look like without makeup and you're beautiful. And I was like, that is so sweet. I think it was my first year at the school that I'm currently at. I came to school one day without makeup and my kids were like, Are you sick? 
And I was like, oh, okay, all right, all right. I will never do that again. Kids are rude. I don't think they meant it like that, but they were like, mess, you usually look put together what is going on. One time, one of my students was like, when we were virtual, I didn't like lay my edges, it was just curly. And um, he was like, miss, you look a mess. Please go lay your edges. <laughs> I was like, dang, all right. So Miss Daughtry gets no grace. That's fine, that's fine. Um, I'm following up with my Even Tone Super Glow Serum. I'm running out of this, so I definitely need to go pick some of this up. I like this stuff too, it's gentle on the skin. I love all of their products, they're pretty gentle on the skin. I've had no bad experience. I keep forgetting that I have this Mighty Patch on, I don't wanna put the products on there. I just feel like I have a lot of congestion in my face, and like I don't know how to keep up with it without like going to seek a professional, so I'm sorry, like I just realized I have my robe on, and I hope like I'm not giving you guys a show, cause it's not the kind party you know what's not helping is that i have to wear my mask now like during the summer i could just be in my house not wearing my mask so there was no friction there was none of that but now i had to really take precautions so what i've been doing is only doing my makeup from here up layering on my face really thickly like all of my products so there's like a barrier there so that it's like covered and moisturized all day so hopefully that kind of helps me the mask me be real, okay? The mask me is real. Oh, I just used the Retinol Rapid Repair and Dark Spot Treatment. I try not to put my products close to my eyes because I don't want to put like any oil-based products near my um, my lashes. That's what they tell you not to do. I guess that would help with, you know, maintaining them. Now I'm using the faded topicals. I literally just ordered some of this. So it should be here within the next week or so, which is perfect. I use a lot of this. So I want it to be on there. My face is kind of burning. Maybe I was a little rough on my skin. <laughs> I think I just rubbed it too long because then I got on the phone with Brianna and like I was just over there having a great time going to town and the face was already clean. I'm gonna add it to my neck. I just like the way I be making my skin glow. I don't know why. I used to think that when my face was greasy, I was like, wow, you look gross, Rihanna. But now I'm like, it's giving moisturization. And then I'm going in with my moisturizer. And I noticed that it really does help with my oil production. This is the Radiant and Bright Glowing Moisturizer. It helps with my oil production now that I like am moisturizing my face. Cause before I wasn't moisturizing it. Cause I'm like, I'm just so oily. There's no point, but that was my skin literally telling me like, girl, we need the moisture. Now we're overcompensating. Anyway, so today was a really good day. I was really nervous about the school year. The moment I met my kids, like I laid my eyes on them and I was like, oh, okay, I know why I'm here. I know this is the career that is for me. Every year I get the question like, miss, are you gonna like just do YouTube full time? And I'm like, ah. If that's the Lord's will, then maybe. Although I was anxious about it and I wasn't sure, I'm just remembering that I'm living a prayer that I prayed two and three years ago. I was praying to be a teacher. I was praying for the job. I was praying, you know, for relocation and I'm living in that right now. And so I just want to soak in all of that because I know that next year I'm going to move and I still want to teach, but I know I'm not going to be here in Philly and I will go anywhere, maybe LA. <laughs> maybe Florida, I don't know, but it's definitely not PA. We'll see where the Lord leads me. Now I am moisturized and I smell good. I'm actually gonna put some lotion on and then I'm gonna make some dinner. Well, I'm gonna heat up a meal prep because that's what we do. I think I'm gonna have a chill, relaxing night. I think what I will do is pick out my outfit for tomorrow and lay out my gym clothes so that I'm ready to go at 4 a.m. Like there's no reason for me not to go because I have my clothes already just like there. My night routines are pretty simple. I don't really do too much unless I have plans. The night routine might change, Especially because like I haven't really had anything to grade lately because today is the first day, you know what I mean? Like I haven't had to grade anything, so. this very reason. 
okay? I feel like this night, like this was, this is not a regular night in my life because I usually go to the gym first thing in the morning. So like I get home at four. So I would have dinner realistically probably around five or six and then like just like be chilling the rest of the night. That's why it's eight o'clock and I'm just now having dinner. I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube. McKenna Walker, I love her. She's been posting these Sunday reset videos every Sunday and I didn't watch yesterday. So I think I'm going to watch that. Oh no, it's actually, she posted a weekly vlog. So I'm gonna watch the weekly vlog that she posted yesterday and I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my dinner and then I will chat with you guys when I'm figuring out what I'm doing. All right, so I finished dinner and now I'm just going to prep my lunch bag for tomorrow just to make sure that I have everything because sometimes I will leave, like I'll pack my lunch and stuff. I'll leave the house without packing a fork or like my protein bar and things like that. So I like to put that stuff in there the night before. Everything is like already packed cause like, you know, I meal prep. So everything's like together. I need to get a fork and I need to put like a napkin in here. Hold on, my sister's calling, what's happening? Sorry about that. I don't know why everyone's calling. Usually I don't get calls. So I'm just gonna pack a napkin a fork obviously and then i'm also going to take my power crunch bar and the flavor peanut butter and chocolate because this is like a really good snack i put my my little like ice pack things so i've got like these ice pack things here um i've got four of them i'll also just put my ice pack in the morning and then um my ice packs and the food in here in the morning so that'll be good i'll set out the counter i don't need to pack my work bag because i didn't take anything from out of it i just literally left it sitting there so that's that but i am gonna pick out my outfit which i got a new dress and i think i'm just gonna pick one of them tomorrow now that like my my cycle is over i can like wear them comfortably now so and that's basically gonna be my night for tonight i think maybe in the up and coming weeks i'll do like an updated nighttime routine so we can kind of just get like a feel of what my real nighttime routine because i'm really trying to establish one i'm really really trying but it's only day one of school so like show your girl some grace but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead pick out my outfit and then i'm gonna go to bed because it's late it's 9 23 it's not that late but i'm tired and i need to be at the gym tomorrow at 4 15 so i'm gonna go to bed now i don't even know if this is gonna be a long enough vlog or not it's just been a crazy couple of days life be life thing especially like when you're preparing for your kids to get into the building it's like crazy but i'm really excited to see the relationships i build with my students and just get to see them flourish academically i'm just gonna end this vlog off here because i'm so tired like my eyes are starting to burn thank you guys for sticking around for this video if you liked what you saw please be sure to like comment subscribe and share also be sure to turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video and until next time babes i'll see you on my next